Hello, my name is Tim Martin and welcome to Net 101. Uh, images are a vital component of the web and you use them in so many different contexts. For example, uh, around the branding elements within your social media platforms, whether that be a cover shot, a profile pic or wallpaper, and certainly uh, within posts across different social media uh, platforms. Uh, the Facebook timeline is beautifully presented to display uh, images in their full glory. Pinterest uh, obviously is a, an image driven uh, social sharing site and Google Plus uh, really uh, renders, displays uh, images beautifully. But there are a couple of things you need to know about uh, images. One is how to manipulate them in terms of being able to compress the file size so that they load uh, quickly, but also basics such as to how to change the orientation of an image, whether that be on the horizontal vertical axis, um, how to uh, crop to a specific uh, pixel width or height, and also how to overlay text, which is quite a common thing uh, on Facebook especially. Now overlaying text uh, in terms of uh, a message, but also a watermark, possibly your name, brand name, or URL. So when people pass around or share your images, uh, your branding uh, goes with it. There's a couple of online uh, image editors that I recommend. Uh, the first is Pixlr, uh, and the second is PicMonkey. Uh, now PicMonkey um, does, or has an extra feature, which is uh, the ability to create a collage. So you can actually get some really beautiful shots, uh, wide or long, multiple photos, and collages look really uh, quite stunning. Uh, both of those online image editors are free to use. Uh, PicMonkey is a freemium product, so if you want to pay some money, you get all the bells and whistles, but 90% of what you need is, is there for free. So think images, um, but also make sure that uh, they're looking their absolute best and a little bit of uh, editing, which uh, you can do in-house, browser-based, doesn't cost uh, anything, and uh, really get those images looking something.